Hi Stampers, it's Shantae from Inking Pink. Today I'm going to show you how to take your wheel and turn it into multiple stamps. We are going to take the wheel from Red, White, and Blue in the Summer Mini Catalog Stampin' Up! and we're going to cut these sections out and create lots of different stamps for the low, low price of $8.50. You're really going to love this. It might seem a little scary at first, but I promise it's not. I'm going to take my um, craft knife and I'm going to cut right down the seam where the stamp is put together, right at the, right at the seam. And you can kind of see there's like a little glue line along there, and really it's not hard to, to find. And I'm going to peel that away making sure, whoops, I didn't get all the way through, so we're just going to go back through and make sure that it's cut all the way through nice and firm, but carefully not to slip. I think I got it that time. There we go. And see how easily that is just going to peel right off of your wheel. Look at that. No, no problem, no worries. Now if you wanted to, you could leave it this way, and you would use a little bit of um, tack it over and over again on the back, put this on one of your longer blocks and just leave it like that and use it bare rubber. But I really want to isolate some of these images. So I'm going to I'm going to take my craft and rubber scissors and I'm going to determine there are quite a few sections here that I can get out of and get multiple stamps. So I'm going to start with cutting out this little square, being very careful to get right up close to the edge and not intrude on the other image. Nice and easy. And so now I have this little area that says July 4th. This is the Lit Freedom Ring. So I'm just going to take that that section off. So now I have two different sections. Let's see, this is going to be Land of the Free, Home of the Brave. So now I've got three images. This is USA. I'm going to cut that nice and close to the other sentiment without getting, I don't want to nip those letters. See how close that is? Just want to get right to the edge there. So now I have USA. This is America the Beautiful with stars. And it says God bless the, and I actually probably should have left that with USA. Um, but I'm actually going to separate that. So now if I want to, I can ink that in a different color. Hindsight's 2020. I'm just going with it, you know. <laughs> Cut that off. And now I'll have America the Beautiful with my stars underneath it. And I could isolate those stars, but I think I'm going to leave that all together. Really getting close to that ampersand there. So, so far I have one, two, three, four, five, six separate stamps for $8.50. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to cut this at a little bit of an angle. Can you see that there? Where the three and this little swoop de doo I don't know what the technical name is for that symbol. There we go. Nice and close there. So, one more time. And this actually is super close, and I think I'm going to grab my craft knife again and get right next to this stripe without any risk of damaging the letter I in Liberty because it does kind of stick up a little bit above that L. And so just keep cutting there. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I could separate those and have ten different stamps. I just created an entire stamp set 
from one wheel, and this is the red, white, and blue wheel. Um, so out of this one wheel for $8.50, I've got an entire stamp set that I can use in a more functional way. But the cool thing is, if I decide that I want to put this back together, I can create my own collage of my block using my tack it over and over again. I can take my clear block of any size, and I'm going to use I'm going to use this big one, and I'm going to create a brand new collage. So let's see. I'm going to have America the Beautiful, Fourth of July. I'm going to do Land of the Brave. And if I, I don't have my glue on there, but if I did, I could just take that and create a whole new collage. I can ink them separately. I can put them together on the block. I can make a whole new border. Really, this is such a frugal way to get a whole stamp set out of a wheel. So, you know, look through the catalog, look through your mini catalogs, look through the wheels that you already own, and I promise you, you will find a lot of new uses for these, and you'll be very happy that you gave it a try. It's not scary. In fact, if, if you want to keep your wheel intact, you can buy two. Buy one to cut up, and buy one to keep intact, and um, I think you'll be really happy with that. I know I am, and I'm going to be excited to show you some projects coming up with this in the next couple of days. So, thanks a lot. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.